everybody, Denise of Lazy Came Out and Homestead. Well, hope you guys are doing well on this sixth day of the countdown to Christmas. Today we are going to make something that we both really love, and I hope you will too, and give it a try. It is a peppermint candy, and it's in a patty form. So they are out there on the market called peppermint patties. <laughs> So that's what we are going to make and they are so super easy. Now it takes a little time um, just because you have to dry uh, the the uh, peppermint part which is the candy and you're going to dip them in chocolate. But that's just you just uh, form them into your patties and you let them dry for a couple hours and then you just dip them and they're ready to go. So I hope you'll join me with this. Um, all you need is four cups of powdered sugar and three-fourths cup of uh, sweetened condensed milk not evaporated don't make that mistake sweetened condensed milk you can also um, get pet brand any brand this is um, our local store brand save a lot and of course you're going to need a peppermint extract you just mix that together and let's get started so let me put this down i think i've got my um tripod fixed today so it's doesn't uh, keep flopping. I apologize for that. Okay, so into this we are going to just sift. This is three cups. I can only fit three cups in for now. And I'm going to put this fourth cup of powdered sugar. And you know I always sift it because there can be some little hard things in your sugar just from uh, moisture and stuff and you just want to make sure that you don't have that when you're making candy especially i think the next couple of videos i make is going to be a, a christmas candy type thing we've made cakes and we've made cookies and now it's time for candy okay so set that aside and i'm going to go ahead and just Pour in the sweetened condensed milk. I mean, how easy is that? Using my wooden spoon, because I love using wooden spoons. They just seem to work well for me, and they don't react with anything. Okay, so also we are going to need one and a half teaspoons of peppermint. Now, I know there's some people that's out there that don't like peppermint. So if you want to try a different kind of extract, you can, but I would say something that definitely would go with chocolate. There's a lot of different extracts you could try. But this is pretty traditional. We're pretty traditional folks, you know me and Willis. He is home today, so he gets to be my taste tester. So you know how excited I am over that. So guys, all we're going to do is just gently, and I mean gently, mix this up till it's all incorporated. Now you can do this in your electric mixer, of course. I thought maybe I would form a big cloud if I tried to do that. It might be faster, but that's okay. Oh gosh, this smells so good. Well, here we are sitting it a couple weeks before Christmas. I hope you guys are all ready. Those of you who celebrate Christmas, happy Hanukkah to my uh, Jewish friends. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use my hands. And I'm going to use parchment paper. You can use parchment paper or wax paper. And we're just going to go ahead and lay a great big sheet of this out here on my island. I'll use this pin over here to weight it down. Willis and I went to the thrift shop. We love going thrift shopping. And he found a bunch of tins, but he found this canister and we found out that it's worth a lot of money this one by itself is worth $54 and I think we paid 25 cents so we were tickled beautiful tin and I believe it is from the 80s so 
So I, I, I have it out all year because I just think it's so cute. Okay, guys, so what we're going to do now is we are just going to, with our hands, form patties. It's going to be a little bit sticky, but that's okay. I don't even mind uh, making meatloaf. Willis always gets me to make the meatloaf. Some people don't like <laughs> their hands in anything sticky or gooey, and I don't mind. Okay, so we're just getting this mixed up even better with our hands. Gosh, it does smell like a peppermint patty. And you want to make sure that your powdered sugar is all mixed in with that. And it does take a little bit to do. All right. So what we're going to do, and this is kind of sticky dry. It's kind of hard to explain. But you see, I can form it into a ball. Okay. Kind of um, a chalky feel, but but it's still, it's still manageable. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and make it into... Little patties about that big, and I'd say that's, oh, maybe a little bit more than an inch around. And you want to make as many of these that your, your batter here will do. And this recipe says it will make 28. So, that's what I'm going to do. Just do that, and I'm not going to make you guys sit here and watch me make all these. So what I'm going to do is stop and just show you what I'm going to dip these in. We have to um, go ahead and make all of these. Let them dry for two hours on your counter, just at room temperature. And then we are going to coat them in semi-sweet chocolate. You need three cups of that, but I am going to add some dark chocolate chocolate coating candy coating because i like the dark chocolate and i'm going to mix them together and you can do that in the microwave or you can do it in this a small crock pot which works really great so i'm going to do that in a, a couple hours so i'll be back when all these are ready to go and we'll dip okay guys it's been one hour of the uh peppermint drying and you have to flip them at this point so you're just going to go ahead and just turn each one of them over and you'll feel that they are drying so so what i'm going to do now after i flip them all i'm going to go ahead and start forming my chocolate in that little crock pot so you guys can start warming yours at some point and uh, like I said, it's going to be three cups of semi-sweet chocolate. And then I'm going to put a couple bars of this uh, dark chocolate, coating chocolate. And I will tell you, the great value does taste like chocolate. I've used other name brand that doesn't taste like chocolate, and it's kind of gross. But this really does taste like chocolate, so I definitely recommend great value. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I will be back in an hour and we will get dipping. Okay, guys, we are back with the um, peppermint patties. We're going to go ahead and dip them into the chocolate. And I've got my chocolate in this little crock pot down here. And it's all nice and melted. Now to this, I'm going to add two teaspoons of shortening. And what that does is kind of thin out your chocolate and it also makes it set better. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and mix that in there and it'll mix in really fast because it's hot. All right, I'm just mixing it with the whisk. And let's see, put that down so you can see. Whoops, there you go. And it's just mixing really nice. See how 
easy that's going to be. Nice and liquidy. Okay. All right, let me go ahead and put that over here. And we are going to start dipping. So I've got a cookie sheet over here. Ready? And let me see if I can. Yeah, there we go. That's better. Okay, what I'm going to do is just take two forks. These are really nice and hard. Look how easy they are to pick up. And I mean, they're hard. Soft in the middle, but hard on the outside because they did dry. So I'm just going to go ahead and put one of them in here with a fork and just kind of bring it out like so. And we're just going to lay it on this other cookie sheet. There you go. <laughs> How easy is that? And for me, it's easy just to kind of gently have that other fork there. And just, you know, you're wanting to kind of tap off some of that chocolate. Of course, you can never have too much chocolate in my my opinion after we've got all these dipped we're going to put them in the refrigerator just to set and then we are going to try them i can't wait i'm going to put some uh, holiday sprinkles on top too while they're still wet I think that'll be really festive and you can also kind of make a little design move that out of the way you can make a little swirl or something you know if you want to or maybe when they get a little bit harder okay here's my snowflakes and I'm just gonna put a few on there because I think that would be so pretty holiday because we are making these for the holidays. And let me just bring that up there so you can see how pretty they are. I think it's beautiful. Well, guys, I'm not going to make you uh, sit here and watch me dip every one of these. So I'm going to go ahead and dip them. And then I'm going to put them in the fridge for about 10 minutes. We'll bring them back out. And I'll be back. And we'll show you what they look like and taste like. Well, hey, guys. I'm back with the peppermint patties that we made. Aren't they beautiful? They took about 15 minutes in the fridge. Now you can put them in the freezer if you want them to harden faster. Uh, I just think they're lovely. So I'm going to go ahead and give a try to one. Let me just show you what they look like. Really pretty. Back and front. Willis is asleep so he's missing out. So here we go. Oh, man. Look at that. <laughs> this is great. This would be really a nice candy to make with your kids. Super easy. Just super easy. I mean, I can't believe Willis said when I was making, if his mom knew how to make these, because she loved these. She would have been making them all the time. <laughs> so I hope you try this. I feel like I need to be running naked through the woods. Well, and if you've ever seen the peppermint patty commercials back in the day, you'll know what I'm talking about. You have a great evening from me and Willis. Lazy came out in Homestead, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.